Greetings everybody, it is I am the one and only Mexi here once again, and I am from the likes of the Mexi Toys videos here. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to supposedly a special video for today. Because of this, here we are on to, let's just say, um, the 12 year anniversary of the Mexi Toys YouTube channel. Yes, that particular channel is now up for 12 years now since 2011, since during the forms of the 16th of February. So, yeah, I can't believe it's been such a very long time, actually. So as a result, though, uh, what we're going to be doing for this particular special this time around, though, is that, as you can tell from the background of the door, I'm going to be showing you guys my room tour. Yes, I've been doing this for quite some time at this point, but here we are now in 2023, that we finally able to actually decide to able to do this particular video for you guys. So, as a result, hopefully it should be a little bit more interesting as far as this is concerned, but I've heard that uh, a lot of people seem to be able to do this, especially noticeable that, well, myself included, we're able to actually do this for you guys. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for able to appreciate with my channel, especially we've actually got back on to uh, 652 subscribers at this point. So thank you guys for able to continue for my support. But anyway, without further ado, let's dive right into my room tour. So let's -a go. So as you can see on the actual uh, the room so far, well, it's a bit tad messy, but nowhere near as messy compared to the forms of how it does it well. Do you guys even watch the forms of the Maxi Maxi 10 version of these room tours? Well, they're basically crap in comparison to the forms of my uh, version, which is the Maxi Toys version. So, anyway, so this is how the room looks like, and basically, now you've already seen certain bits here and there, thanks to the forms of my unboxing video specials here and there. So as a result though, we can probably go ahead and just show this to you guys, starting with with my door itself. Well, th there's nothing special around this door, apart from the fact that we're relatively speaking, I've got myself multiple caps that I can tend to wear journey forms within summer, like the Luigi hat, the Nintendo 64 cap, PlayStation cap, and especially noticeable with Sonic the Hedgehog as well. And as well as for my dressing gown, because it is very, very cold at the moment. I mean, relatively speaking, I will uh, guarantee to able to... Oh, I'm also able to fix that at some point. So yeah, basically, that's what my door itself looks like. Unfortunately, my door at the moment is actually quite faulty, because it actually refuses to able to shut properly for this door. I definitely need to fix that at some point, but not now anyway, though. It might take a bit some time, so... Speaking of which, up here, this is why I'm able to actually put mini posters up there. So as you can see, I actually got quite a few uh, posters up there. Mind you, there's only five of them at the moment. So as you can see, I've got Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Uh, well, just to say, that's a card, basically, instead of the poster. But I, I do remember back in the day, during the forms of in 2010, I somehow managed to got the special edition version of... Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the PSP, where it actually includes not only the art book, but also with those special cards as well. So, yeah, it's pretty cool with the CGI models of, uh, you know, Terra, Aqua, and Ventus. So, yeah, pretty cool to have that. And as well as from that, I also have those tiny little posters of, well, let's just say, I've got uh, Paper Mario the Origami King, even though it's cut out, because uh, one of those pre-order bonuses I've got for Paper Mario, the Origami King, is just basically you're able to create your very own origamis and stuff like that. And as far as Mario Party 3 is concerned, well, I attempted to able to originally try to able to uh, create the actual uh, the mini poster for this because what I attempted to do, since then my N64 box has been cut out or essentially it's almost damaged to wear off, I essentially did manage to able to cut around the actual full cover of Mario Party 3 on the actual box, which because of that, I have managed to be able to recreate the actual box art of Mario Party 3, thanks to those custom made, uh, you know, custom cases, obviously. And from here, we go sell the uh, two line of posters ranging from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, of course. That was actually part of the forms of my birthday cake, which I know it sounds a bit weird for saying this, but seriously, it just looks so adorable. And especially noticeable on the left, I've got a whole montage of 
pictures of Jewel from Rio, both in Rio 1 and 2. Mind you, but the majority of them was actually Rio 1, but I haven't found that much photos of her from the likes of the bombs of Rio 2. But either way, though, that's as far as I can say about it. And on the left right here, I've got even more posters, including a signature for Pierce Brosnan, which I'll get to in a moment. So as you can see, I've got myself my custom-made um, Celebi poster, which I think I tend to make that back in 2017, if possible. Mind you, because Celebi was, potentially speaking, my favorite Pokemon out there. And especially noticeable because I always enjoy uh, Zorark Master Evolutions, and especially noticeable with uh, Forever, despite how weird the CGI that film was. And especially noticeable about the fact that recently with uh, Secrets of the Jungle, which, spoiler alert for those who have not seen the film yet, it was on Netflix right now. And uh, speaking of posters, I've got myself the Super Mario 3D World poster. Really amazing game, by the way. And so it applies to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which hopefully we'll get ourselves way four by that time until this spring. So, or in some cases though, this upcoming spring. So, pretty cool to have that. And also I've got the Super Mario Galaxy 2 poster, which I seem to able to still got this uh, since in 2010, when I first got myself one of those uh, cool game master magazines, which as a kid, I found it a very, very appreciated to able to have this poster in my room because Super Mario Galaxy 2 is without a doubt one of my favorite video games of all time. So yeah, cool to have that. And as well as that, I've got myself these uh, movie posters down there, which are both My Little Pony the movie, as well as Sonic the Hedgehog movie, as you can see. I was expecting to also include um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 poster, but unfortunately though, I don't seem able to get enough room for it, and especially noticeable with this upcoming Super Mario Bros. movie, but that can wait in due time. Speaking of My Little Pony, there's some more here, as you probably... Already knows right from the start though, but hey, at least it's pretty cool to able to have this image in my room. Well, usually I'm still a brony, so deal with it. And speaking of which, I've got myself the Mario Kart Arcade GP VR. Now, I've actually experienced this back in 2000 and I don't know, 18 or something like that. It's a bit of a shame that this game seemed able to get its uh uh, Shorge's lifespan, especially noticeable because I seem to able to enjoy this particular experience. Well, mind you, it's a bit of a shame that it's no longer existence in some places and stuff like that. So, oh well, bit of a bummer though, but at least I did somehow manage to able to have a great time experience in this as a result. So, anyway, so if you go down here, this is where I stored not only my Nintendo 64 games, custom boxes and everything, which is, they are, you know, with black spines and stuff like that, but also, I've got myself the GameCube shelf down there, as well as my PlayStation 2 shelf, and especially noticeable with this Missile Manius uh, shelf, because it was originally going to be Sega themed um, shelf down there, but as you can see, I didn't seem able to get that much of Sega stuff. Well, I have got most of them, but as you can tell about the fact that it's gone a bit all over the place, you see. So, uh, yeah, I will promise I will get around onto my PlayStation 2 game collection video at some point as the update version of it, but not now. So, either way, though, that's pretty much about it for this particular side right here for the shelving. Anyway, so let's move on to the right, where basically, as you can see, I even got even more posters, ranging from the Nintendo 64 poster up there, Welcome to the Future, which actually shows us a whole bunch of those N64 titles ranging from 1998 to 1999. Pretty cool to able to have that, I suppose. And also I've got the Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3 poster, because it looks absolutely cool. And also I've got Ralph Breaks the Internet poster, which, eh, this film is okay, I mean, it's not the greatest, but I still prefer the first film over the second uh, the second film, in my honest opinion. And down here we have a uh, Mario Strikers Battle League football poster, which I seemed able to get this for free, when I managed to get myself the actual game itself, despite... You know how, you know what I mean, how mixed reactions to this particular game, despite, you know, stupid free updates come to the play. But either way, I guess that's some consumption. 
And from here, this is why it's display certain figures right there. Not exactly sure Woody was there though. I'm guessing it's probably because, well, Toy Story is actually one of my favorite film franchises ever, so I essentially included him. It's a shame no Woody had though, so oh well. And also I got this very cool uh, ring monitor that's actually bundled with my Mighty figure, which I'll show those off in a moment. And as you can see, I've got these Mario Kart mini figures. Now two of these are actually certain figures I've somehow got back in long time ago when they firstly sell those. And also I've got the Mario Kart Wii Mario right here, which is actually do like a pull in and let it go and then just drives it on its own. And of course I got the Kirby figure right here, alongside with this question mark block. Now I believe with those two figures right there, this one and that one, those are from the likes of the McDonald's Happy Meal range. So yeah, pretty cool to able to actually have those, even though it's a bit of a shame that in the Mario movies case in the UK, that uh, we didn't seem able to get Happy Meal toys, because instead it's been replaced by cardboard cutouts. So not exactly sure why they do that nowadays, but I guess that's all I can say about it. And also, I've got myself this awesome Keyblade from the Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, long story short, back in 2019, I somehow managed to be able to stumble across for this at Game Store, and I was usually shocked and su surprised to be able to actually see that Keyblade on the display, and I was like, okay, I want to buy it, and as a result, it makes this pretty cool to be able to see that on my um, display. Even though I was going to able to do a bit of a construction thing, to be able to put in some books, to be able to add this onto a wall display, but unfortunately though, I haven't exactly got around to it, so, oh well. At least that might save it in so in the future time, if possible. Speaking of going back to the left though, as you can tell, I've got myself my glorious Wii U gamepad with the actual charging uh, thing right there, which I somehow managed to brought it separately from eBay during the falls of in, I would say in 2017 or something. So either way though, I guess that might seem weird. And also I've no idea why it does some papers alongside with those gloves around here, which I think I usually use those to not make my game consoles a bit of a dust. So because of that, I don't usually go for like dust all over my game systems. So speaking of games though, from this drawer right here, I actually got not only a uh, Game Boy slash Game Boy Color, including Game Gear games as well, but also, well, it's a good thing that uh, the Game Boy services is now added onto the Nintendo Switch these days. But also on the second drawer, I've got myself the Game Boy Bond selections of titles here and there. Keep myself organized. Now, originally though, I was expecting to be able to do the actual project of the forms of trying to make uh, customized uh, box arts for certain Game Boy Advance games, including Game Boy games as well. But unfortunately though, it might be seems a bit of a tedious process to me though. I mean, it would be nice though, but I haven't exactly got enough room for it. So anyway, so in this third drawer right here, this is why I kept these chargers from not only for the likes of the forms of the DVD portable player, but also with the forms of the Nintendo Switch. And uh, in case if I play handheld mode, DSi and 3DS if I want to personally count that. PSP, Slump Slump Charger, which as a result, it did surprisingly work for my PS Vita, which I haven't exactly used my PS Vita at some form or another. Now, here comes the fun part where it comes to this drawer underneath it, which all it gets in here is these controllers I'm currently using. So, for instance, on the top drawers, I've actually got myself the Nintendo themed controllers, ranging from the NES controller, specifically the classic version of the classic uh, controller variants of those two retro consoles, ranging from NES to the Super Nintendo, all the way up to the Nintendo Switch, with in some cases now I've got myself my, you know, Super Smash Bros. Pro controller, which still works even to this day. And uh, yeah, that's essentially how this goes. And on the second drawer, this is what appears to be the Sega themed controllers, ranging from, you know, the Sega Mega Drive slash Sega Genesis, for those of you who lived in North America, and all the way up to the Sega Dreamcast. As you can see, I've got the Dreamcast controller just behind here, 
Well, mind you, I haven't exactly utilized my Dreamcast controller for some time because, well, I'm just a bit worried about my Dreamcast software, or in some cases, the system constantly resets itself. Problems, I suppose. But I will uh, get around to that, I think. And down here, this is the actual combination of, let's just say, Sony and Microsoft controllers, ranging from, for PlayStation, I have my PS1 controller with no analog sticks, so something worth noting for after the events of my controllers collection, and also PlayStation 2, DualShock 3 controller, and DualShock 4, and of course, Xbox controllers from the OG Xbox, specifically the S-Type, Xbox 360 and Xbox One. I was expecting to try to get the Series X controller, but I haven't exactly got around to it either, so maybe in the future, I don't know. And finally on this bottom shelf right here is those miscellaneous uh, type of these accessories, ranging from, let's just say, um, the Wii Wheel, based off the Mario Kart Wii, and the mic for both Mario Party 6 and 7, and the Game Boy Advance cable link for uh, the GameCube connector, and uh, also the DK bongos, and essentially the GameCube controller adapter for my, not only for the Wii U, but also for the Switch as well. So uh, yeah, pretty amazed to have this, and especially noticeable back there, there's also the N64 transfer pack, so I can essentially use that for uh, both games, essentially, both Mario Golf and Mario Tennis, essentially, on the Game Boy Color and N64 stuff, essentially. Now, before we move on to the actual cabinet of any sorts, let's move on to this site now. So basically, there's another poster right here that features Mario Kart 8. Now, as far as I've noticed, is that this is actually based off from the puzzle thing I actually got, which, as a result, it came down for free. So, I thought to myself I'd put it up on my wall, because I just love playing Mario Kart 8, specifically on a Switch right now, so yeah, pretty amazed able to have that in there. And underneath it, there's my Amiibos, yes, my Amiibos. Now, if you're probably wondering, yeah, I somehow got lesser amounts of Amiibos as far as I'm used to, but that's only mainly because I'm more into certain Amiibos based off of my interest of my franchises, like, you know, Mario, Sonic, Mega Man, Pac-Man, Banjo-Kazooie, as well as Kirby, The Legend of Zelda, as well as uh, Metroid, and uh, Star Fox, F-Zero, Splatoon, and especially noticeable with other franchises. Let's hope that Sora might essentially get the amiibo, but uh, it's all depending on those frustrating situations between, and you know what I mean. But either way though, pretty cool to able to have those uh, amiibos alongside with this amiibo stand display. So yeah, pretty amazed able to see how that's gonna turn out. So yeah, pretty essentially I'm very glad to have this. And down there this is where we find some 3DS games. So I've almost uh, essentially run out of room for my 3DS shelf, but potentially speaking though, I'm actually just so relieved able to actually get certain 3DS stuff before the stores are shut down for the eShop. So, yeah, that's what I can say about it. And on the next shelf down there, this is where we find not only PlayStation 1 stuff, but also the Wii U and the PSP games right there. So essentially speaking though, because I was expecting to try to be able to get myself uh, every single PlayStation 1 games or PSP stuff, but I thought I was able to go for 3 and 1, so just to make sure that it makes things a little bit more strange combination, like essentially with both PlayStation related and the Nintendo Wii U on the center. Well, mind you, because I haven't exactly brought that much games with, when it comes to like, you know, those three systems in mind. Speaking of some, some things, that I've actually got my amazing Wii shelf. Like, as you can tell, I actually got a lot of Wii games. Essentially how amazing certain games are. Especially noticeable because, well, usually back in the day, when I was a kid, I essentially keep on getting a bunch of Wii games. Even though there's a shame that some of them are no longer uh, there on the shelf anymore, just because of my, again, interest of my franchises, you know, with Mario and Sonic, Zelda, Kirby, Metroid, Donkey Kong, you name the rest. So, either way though, pretty cool to have that Wii shelf in my, uh, shelving. 
And down there, this is where we find my DS shelf. I was originally going to be able to have a combination of not only DS, but also 3DS shelf all in one. But the thing is though, it's also running out of shelf room. So I thought I was able to do individuals as far as this is concerned. So, and much like the 3DS though, I've almost run out of space. But either way though, I might try to get possibly get I don't know, two more uh, games between DS or 3DS, but either way though, time will tell, because I was essentially most able to get like maybe one more uh, Metroid based game at the moment. Well, it wasn't until I've, you know, recently pre-ordered uh, Metroid Prime Remastered, so potentially speaking though, it was essentially going to be Metroid Prime Pinball, which that was the only game I'm going after next, so either way. Oh, and speaking of such though, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's my Harleen shield. So, yeah, from that particular other side of the shelf, as you can see, I've only got not only the Harleen shield, but also I've got myself my Master Sword. Because, you know, I just love Zelda games. Even though I'm almost getting close to finishing up uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild before Tears of the Kingdom is going to be approaching. So as a result though, very excited about that game, and I'm sure most people already know how exciting you guys are expecting to get the game. So yeah, and speaking of such, there's another poster right there, but this time it's Metroid Dread. Really, really, really cool game, especially noticeable because, well, I'm more into Metroid stuff these days now. So, and speaking of Zelda, I got myself this awesome, cool uh, canvas uh, Zelda picture. So yeah, I essentially just somehow got this for about uh, 10 quid. So yeah, pretty amazing to be able to have this. Even though it doesn't feature Breath of the Wild Link somewhere. Oh well, no big deal. But I'm guessing it's pretty cool to have this as far as I'm concerned with. Oh yeah, over there, I don't know if you can see it, but basically in here, not only do I get myself my duster, so just in case I can dust every single portion of my room, but here I've got uh, only three Blu-rays I've got. So as a result though, I apologize for that really, really dull lighting over there. I mean, mind you, I could potentially try to able to like, I don't know, make the lighting better, but I think this is the only thing you might as well able to only see. So, oh well. So from here, this is where I got myself my uh, 2023 calendar. So yeah, today is obviously the 16th of, you know, February. So as you can see on my calendar, I've marked in Kirby's Return to Dreamlands Deluxe because I'm super excited able to, you know, play that game on the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, pretty awesome to able to see what's new for me for that particular port or remake rather. And up here, this is what I've made, my custom-made uh, picture frames, as far as what I already bring up. Even though the first one I did done, it was back in last year. And recently this year, I did another one in 2023. Obviously based off of my favorite uh, franchises. So as you can see, I've got myself, you know, one, the one on the left is based off of my favorite video game franchises, as you can tell. And on the right, this is obviously based off of other media, ranging from a combination of video games, cartoon shows, and even film genres as a result. So, yeah, it did take me a couple of hours to do it, especially noticeable because I'm just gonna think about what specific franchises I do love the most. So, either way, that's that. Almost to the next shelf here. Now here's the really, really, really interesting part about this shelf. And that's what appears to be my DVD shelf. And as you can tell, I've got loads. Now if you're probably wondering, what's up there if you're probably wondering? Well, I'll explain more now in a second, because for now, let's show us the forms of the DVD shelf. Now the first shelf is obviously Disney themed shelf. So essentially it's all about uh, some directed DVD uh, movies. And uh, some of them are well, traditional animated films, as you can see on screen. So, yeah, that's that. And yes, I put them in the correct order based off from the actual number coding, as you can see, for example, on uh, the Renaissance era. Yeah, you can totally see why. There are some exceptions here and there, both Hercules and Mulan. But that's essentially because I got them before they uh, rebrand those DVDs with these little uh, number coding, as you can tell. So, not only why that's usually be the case. 
And down here on the second shelf, not only do I get certain Disney Pixar films onto the left, but also the DreamWorks side of things as well. So, either way though, and yes, just like before, I put those in the correct order, except with, uh, Two of those Buzz Lightyear uh, spin-off movies because, well, at least this one technically does count for uh, the Pixar movie. But as a result, though, I've honestly have no idea why I placed that there. But I'm guessing it's because I'm still hoping to get uh, the Puss in Boots uh, 2 movie collection once that comes out. And um, hopefully I should be able to have that into my DreamWorks movie collection. So, yeah, pretty essential as well. And down here, this is where we get ourselves my favorite uh, pieces of media shelf. And you're probably wondering of why, because, well, obviously aside from the fact that I've got two Lego movies up there, as well as these Wallace and Gromit shorts, Rio 2 films, or two Rio films, I was expecting to try to get the Blu-ray re-releases of them too, but not now though. And yeah, the brony stuff, as you probably expected. And of course I've got myself these amazing two Sonic movies, well technically there's another one on the right as you can see, but that was actually the most recent uh, film I've got, based off from um, the anime, so yeah, pretty essential and pretty glad to have that. And also the Powerpuff Girls things, I haven't exactly got that much of the Powerpuff Girls merchandise because apparently though the majority of them belongs to America I believe, so and of course we got ourselves the amazing The Simpsons movie. Pretty hilarious though for that particular movie in my opinion. And down here, this is where I put not only um, Fast and Furious uh, movies down there, but also Back to the Future trilogy. Man, I really love those films. And uh, also we got the James Bond DVD uh, shelving as you can see, and occasional Pokemon films here and there, and uh, some animated stuff as well, and uh, Paddington uh, 2 movies essentially. So. Uh, yeah, I have honestly have no idea why I bring down my Pokemon movies down there, but that's only because more DreamWorks movies are on its way, so that's essentially how this goes, I think. So, anyway, so next we have is my two pit or three uh, pixel power lights. So as you can see, I've got myself the Sora from the likes of Kingdom Hearts 3, and Mega Man from, obviously, from the classic Mega Man games, and lastly, Link from The Legend of Zelda. So, I was originally trying to able to get myself Mario and Sonic, but they're very difficult to find, especially noticeable, because I can definitely tell you, I think they were America exclusive, like, I was expecting to get uh, the Super Mario World Mario lights, but also Sonic the Hedgehog lights as well, but again, it's very difficult to find right now, so... I will try my best if I try to find it, but maybe in the future one day. And before we get to the drawers though, um, there are some more figures that I've got, which are multicolored Yoshis, in addition to a number of my amiibos, ranging from, you know what I mean, Kirby and Yon Yoshi from the bottom, and especially noticeable with uh, Inkling Girl and uh, Samus Aran based off from Metroid Dread. And especially noticeable, there's uh, another Mario Happy Meal toy just hanging in the actual uh, the actual standing podium. And also I've got myself the, uh, well, a magic lamp for whatever reason. And also I've made my customizable picture frame, as you can see. Let's play some games with the rest of the cast. So, and if you're probably wondering what that picture is, sounds familiar to you, that's almost like based off from the 2012 intro. So, just want to classify that. And also got these two Rio-based Happy Meal toys from the likes of 2011, which are Jewel and Blue, which I was expecting to be able to include the skateboard, but I've lost it somewhere, so that's kind of bad. And also we've got the Kirby Amiibo right there. Okay, quick air right there, sorry about that. So yeah, I've got my uh, Kirby Amiibo right there. And right next to those, I also have myself my, those remote controllers, so I can able to use my HDMI splitter, which I'll show this off in a moment, and my TV remote, in case if I want to turn on my TV. And of course, I've got myself the, uh, I'll show this off in a moment, got my aftershaves right here, selfish, and especially noticeable with this one right here, I'm not exactly sure what this is called, and also my set of deodorants, which, I somehow managed to able to use my My Little Pony the Movie box to able to get a nice display on them. So, well to myself, yeah, why the heck not. 
And right next to it, on the other hand, I actually stumbled across this when I go out somewhere. And that's, I've somehow got myself the the Super Mario Bros. movie um, flag right there. I'm guessing it's based off of McDonald's, which I did somehow pop over to that particular lunch the other day. So yeah, pretty nice to have that. And right there, that's my microphone, so I can able to do my commentary for, uh, you know, gameplay footage and stuff like that. So pretty cool to able to have this microphone, especially it contains a stand. Oh, yeah, there are some coasters there too. One of them I'm currently using is the cool James Bond um, coaster, so I can able to use that for my drinks, including my hot drink as well. Yeah, pretty cool to have that. And also I've got myself the Luigi coaster based off of Mario Party Superstars for my pre-order bonus. So pretty cool to have that. And back there, there's my Mario Kart question mark item box light. So potentially speaking, even though it's not too bright, I don't think. In fact, let me just uh, demonstrate this to you. So relatively speaking, it's actually uh, pretty cool when it turns on, but it doesn't go completely bright. But of course, I do have to use the batteries for that. So yeah, pretty cool to have, to have that light with me. So next up, there are some even more posters right up there. And that's what appears to be. One of them is actually The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, based off of the Wii version. And also I've got Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy posters, which three of these posters combined are all based off from Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which I somehow managed to got those from the My Nintendo store. So, pretty cool to have those, especially noticeable about the fact that I just really enjoy those three Mario games. So, yeah, that's all I can say about it. And also I got myself these little character portraits onto my wall. At the moment I've got Luigi, Toad, and Bowser. No Mario for some reason. But either way though, I was expecting to originally try to get the Mario one, but oh well, no big deal. So let's get into the forms of those drawers right here. So for instance, in this drawer right here, I've actually got myself the, uh, just some random stuff here and there, ranging from controller chargers, including my DVD player, and my another Mario and another Luigi Plus, which not exactly sure why I've got those, but I'm guessing because they are highly detailed in comparison. And there's the uh, my Euro plug socket, so I can able to go out anywhere, somewhere in European countries and stuff. And right there, there's my Mario flip-flops, which really cool to have those, especially noticeable I use those if I go out in certain holiday vacations. So yeah, pretty cool to have that. What's cool about these drawers though, is that if you open them, basically it goes like a slide. But if you try to close it, it will slowly close it on itself. And of course, there's no handles on them. So pretty cool to be able to have those uh, drawers at the very least. So, and then here in this drawer right here, this is why I kept my um, handhelds, which are uh, down there. There's my PlayStation Vita down there. N-Gage, Nokia N-Gage, my Sega Game Gear, which I never actually used because of all that faulty screen and bad uh, sound uh, compactor or anything and there's also my Game Boy Advance SP, the Mario edition, Neo Geo Pocket Color, uh, PSP and my DSi XL and my 3DS XL and uh, I don't know if you noticed but on that cover right there I've got the Game of Watch systems which are the Mario ones and the Zelda ones so just showing there's no Kirby Game of Watch in there well, well, Baker Sales can be choosers. And from here, this is why I kept my AR cards for my 3DS. So, pretty essential that I somehow managed to got those. So, and there's my cloth in case if I want to wipe the screens for not only my DSi, but a 3DS XL as well. And not exactly sure why that's there. I'm guessing that's uh, Sonic Pocket Adventure. It was currently on my... Um, my Neo Geo Pocket Color at the moment. And from here, this is also why I've got myself my... Nintendo Switch stand, which that would be pretty cool for my part. And I've got myself the Super Mario Maker 2 um, Nintendo Switch stylus, which I rarely use, but hopefully I'll get back into using that whenever I play Mario Maker 2 again. So yeah, that's that draw. So in this draw right here, I believe these are my Missile Manias type of drawers. So for instance, I've got myself gem pack full of stuff in here, which I know it seems a bit messy at the moment, but from there, I essentially kept my uh, 
capture card equipment as far as this is concerned, including my uh, fresh batteries for uh, Wii Remote and my GameCube WaveBird and all the other stuff. Cameras, folders, you name the rest, including those uh, three chaos symbols, or what I like to call them anyway. And as well as some um, other stuff around here, which I can't be bothered able to get them out because they are gem packed in there. So yeah, these are just miscellaneous stuff in there. So, and on here, this is why I kept my, uh, not only my uh, clothing, but also my pajamas as well. So as you can see, I've got my cool Super Mario Bros. pajamas, because, you know, the Mario movie is going to be around the corner, so I'm very excited for that film still. So, essentially, I'm a huge fan of Mario, let me tell you guys right from the start. So, yeah, that's that. And on the, the drawer, the third drawer on the bottom, on the left side, essentially, this is why I kept my carrier bags ranging from my 3DS and DS and my Nintendo Switch as you can tell even though I was expecting to try to get like PSP carrier case but I don't have that at the moment so even though it might be too difficult to get nowadays so yeah that's that nothing special nothing fury but hey and then in here there comes the cool part and that is essentially my spare controllers drawer just in case if my controller is broken and if some controllers don't work out as well. I was originally trying to able to utilize my wave bird, but uh, unfortunately though, my receiver, it doesn't seem to able to get any response to me at all. So I might try to fix that at some point. And uh, yeah, this particular drawer is pretty cool, especially I can cap my uh, spare controllers in case of multiplayer and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty cool and essentially it's a pretty awesome drawer to have, at least to me anyway. So in fact, it's actually a lot bigger than he forms of how it does it back in uh, the other room, essentially speaking. So yeah, pretty cool to have those. I'll get to the actual bed in a moment because the next thing I'll show us to you is my another two set of lights up there, which are the PlayStation lights and the Xbox lights. So I don't think I can probably demonstrate this to you now, but those lights are pretty cool up there, especially noticeable I've actually got. Not only, as you can see on screen, I've got myself my Xbox, um, my entire Xbox shelf here, ranging from OG Xbox to Xbox 360 and Xbox One slash the Series X. And next to that, I've got myself my other figures as well, ranging from Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, Pac-Man, and Mighty the Armadillo. So yeah, pretty cool to have those. And on the next shelf down there, these are my PlayStation 3 slash PlayStation 4 shelf. So it's almost entirely full up, but next to those, I also have myself not only my um, sword figure, which is based off from Kingdom Hearts 2, even though his skill, his skin is a little bit pale, which is kind of unfortunate, but essentially speaking though, because I essentially got this back in Christmas last year, so, and next to Sora, we have Goku and Vegeta. Now the thing is, those two figures of Goku and Vegeta, they're entirely both related to the Dragon Ball Super. So as a result, I just want to classify that. And behind Goku, that's Toadette. And behind Vegeta, that's uh, Luigi. So I just want to classify that. So, and from here, this is where we find the Nintendo Switch shelf. So as you can see, I have tons of Nintendo Switch physical games. And right next to that, I also got my giant Mario right there, just to be more protective, so just to ensure that those games doesn't fall flat, so, and that's essentially my uh, DS, or no, my Nintendo Switch uh, game casing storage, so just in case I can take those on the go. So yeah, pretty cool to be able to have that in there, and hopefully we'll add some more Nintendo Switch games in the future. So yeah, um, if you're probably wondering, what's up with this empty um, slot up, up there? Well, that's essentially, whenever I get some more figurines in the future, I'm also able to place my uh, actual figures up there to make it as a nice little display. So relatively speaking now, I will planning to do that at some point or another. So yeah, I guess that's what I can really say about this. So anyways, so next up we have is my bed. So as you can see, I've got my double sized bed. So let me tell you, it is so, so comfy because I used to be able to actually lay on my singular bed, but every nowadays it's actually gonna get a lot more uncomfortable. But either way though, that's all I can really say about this for the most part. And uh, I don't suppose if I was gonna show you on these little 
bed drawers right there. This is why I kept uh, some of these plushies down there. And these are essential for the Maxi Toys channel department. So as you can see, I've got some of them in this uh, particular uh, bed drawer, including some newcomers here and there as well, ranging from uh, Zelda right there. And as well as that, there's Waddle D. So yeah, pretty essential, and I essentially like to keep those essentially for, you know, making videos about them. So now as you can see on screen, I've got my uh, awesome laptop right there, despite it's a bit old at this rate, but as you can see on screen, I've got myself my, uh, my game on there, which for whatever reason, I'm simply able to leave this on for a while, because there's one thing I was gonna able to show you something, but uh, oh, uh, explain more details about that in a moment so either way i've got mario party one on there but i think it's probably because i've made my first customizable board based off from party planner 64 which uh, i'm sure that will show this off in just in a moment well assuming of course about the fact that mario and luigi are seemed having a neck to neck between each other even though mind you the game attempts to lag a little bit which i know it seems kind of unpleasant able to see the actual game runs like you know kind of uh dull and crap in comparison but i guess that seems to be the case so yeah i guess that's that i guess it's that so from here this is where we find ourselves the laundry basket right here to able to keep my uh, all of my washing stuff in here and there's my bin right here, so, oh yeah, before we move on to the next thing, which is the wardrobe right there, I'm not joking, that's the wardrobe, by the way, um, let me quickly show you guys something, what the customizable uh, board is actually looks like, so, does this board look familiar to you? Well, that's essentially a Monopoly-themed board based off from My Little Pony, well, it only took me a couple of hours to do it, so I just want to classify that. So anyways, let's get into the actual, uh, the next theory, which is the wardrobe, which is essentially in here. And basically, I've got tons of, uh, shirts in here, including, um, as you can tell, there are some customizable ones here and there as well, ranging from, I've got myself the Rio one, based off from Rio 2, as you can tell from Jewel right here. Uh, Fluttershy, Rarity, and one small thing, uh, Image, so, yeah. You probably already know what those are from. Those are from Redbubble, so I highly recommend that website. It does look felt pretty cool. And up there, this is why I kept all these uh, boxed items up there. Again, apologize for that really awful lighting in here. It's all dark and grim and everything. But uh, either way, though, I guess I just want to show you briefly. So yeah, that's that. And down there, there are more of my plushies down there, including uh, there are some newcomers even there as well, including Spyro the Dragon. And back there, there's uh, Crash Bandicoot back there and Dr. Neo Cortex. So, even though, again, I apologize for that dark lighting there back there. So, yeah, I will uh, have to apologize for that. So, either way, I guess it's that. And there's my curtains here. These are all red, by the way. Pretty nice to have the red colored curtains just to match up with the actual Mario uh, color. So yeah, not much just to say. And let's get to the final part of this room tour. And that is, of course, my video game cabinet. So as you can tell, yeah, it is pretty huge. I'm not gonna lie. Especially noticeable how the way it's set up. So as you can tell, oh yeah, before we get into that though, I don't suppose if you see back there, uh, that's my Rockso Game Capture HD Pro um, capture device. Still works very, very well, but I'm currently hooked on to my Nintendo Switch at the moment. Just to ensure that Sonic will definitely continue playing through Sonic Origins at some point. So either way, I guess that's that. And from here, this is where I essentially usually got my Samsung HD TV, along with my uh, sensor bars up there, both for the Wii and the Wii U. So yeah, pretty cool to have this TV, even though it does have its age, but as a result though, I appreciate able to have this particular big TV. It's so awesome, especially noticeable it contains like 
you know, sensitivity touch thing here and there for these uh, button commands to power on and stuff. And from here, we get into the bombs of the game systems. But before you do that, here's some another one of my figures right here. These are based off from Super Mario Odyssey with Mario and Cappy. And from the right, there's a uh, Cappy on the right. So, and there's Toad right next to the Sega Dreamcast. And also we've got Yoshi right next to uh, the Sega Master System 2. And Sonic right next to the Sega Mega Drive Model 1. So yeah, you probably already know what this is, and also as you can see, I've got myself my HDMI switcher splitter. So yeah, pretty handy to able to have this. And right there, there's my uh, component video uh, splitter right there as well. And composite splitter right there, pretty cool to have that as well. And these are my game systems, has been currently hooked up at this point. Even though it's a bit messy around this side because of the constant switching from the actual capture device, so I just want to classify that. So these are, I've got myself my console minis. I've only got three of them out of like, I don't know, six or more. That's only mainly because some of them are actually like somewhat exclusive. So at the moment, I've got the NES and Super Nintendo Classic Minis, including the Mega Drive Mini as well. And of course, I've got the Nintendo 64, Nintendo GameCube with the Game Boy Player attachment, and my Nintendo Switch. Pretty cool to have this system. Sega Mega Drive Model 1, as I mentioned earlier. And also we've got the Sega Master System 2. And the Sega Saturn Model 2, because of all that different shape of design for all these switches and stuff. And my glorious Sega Dreamcast. And uh, surprisingly enough, uh, not only we've got the PS1 Slim, but also I've got two Wiis. Now, this Wii on the right, I attempt to play virtual console games, including WiiWare stuff on there including my Mario Kart arcade games in there. And also we've got the American way so I can play Mario Super Sluckers if I get some spare time. So yeah, that's essentially why I've got those two between my PlayStation 1 at the moment. And my PS2 Slim, PlayStation 3 Slim, and my PS4 Slim. God knows if the PS5 Slim will be able to exist, but I highly doubt it. And down there, there's my Wii, my black Wii. So that was my primary Wii on the black one. And my Wii U over there. And uh, yeah, that cable is plugged into my capture device. So just want to give you a heads up. My OG Xbox right here. And my Xbox 360 Slim. And lastly, I've got my Xbox One S. In this case, Slim. So. Yeah, pretty cool to be able to have those systems hooked up all into one in particular cabinet because let's face it, it does look pretty nice when it comes to hooking these things all at once. So even though despite we have to cope with the actual cost of living problem, but either way though, for the UK anyway. And lastly down there, there's my plug socket so I can be able to plug my, not only my laptop, which is currently plugged in right now, but also with my Wii U gamepad charger, and lastly my iPhone charger, so it's more classified that. And I think, relatively speaking, that's every single portion of my room tour, so hope you guys do enjoy this particular special of my... Uh, the Maxi Toys 12 year anniversary. So, hope you guys do enjoy this video. And for that, we'll stay tuned for some more parts of not only Donkey Kong 64, but also Mega Man X, and especially noticeable with Sonic Origins as well. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for those videos for this point, guys. And I'll see you guys at some point in the future. Later, fellas. Hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you guys so much for watching this particular video and make sure you subscribe to our channel because it helps out tremendously and make sure you're able to smash that like button if you enjoyed this particular video and stay tuned for some more recording sessions on other Let's Plays throughout the entire portion of the month. So this is me Maxi from the likes of the Maxi Toys and until then I'll see you guys soon.